I've been taking Polaroids for over two years now and I've probably taken over 200 of them and they're all on this wall. There's so many, so many. I take a Polaroid on every shoot as a physical piece of memorabilia of that shoot. You end up shooting so many projects that you kind of forget that you shot a really cool one because if it's in a busy period, you're, you're doing so many projects that you just kind of forget that you've done it. And taking Polaroids like this is definitely a really good way to keep track of all the shoots you've done with like a physical timestamp on it. It's definitely one of the best decisions I've made and it's even more special that my mum actually got me this Polaroid which is super cool. A tip for shooting Polaroids is always shoot with the sun or light facing towards the subject, never behind. I always find having a really strong front lit is always better than having it from behind. The cool thing about this Polaroid is that when you open it up, there's already a flash on here. So literally just open up, wait until this green light shows and then boom, you can snap away. Obviously Polaroids aren't cheap and I'm gonna do a little bit of quick maths right now, which isn't my strong subject, but I'm just gonna look at my notes to make sure we 100% get it right. So there's eight Polaroids in a pack and each pack is 16 pounds each. And I've taken 200 Polaroids. So 200 divided by eight is 25. So I've used 25 Polaroid packs. And if they're 16 pounds each, that's 25 times 16, which equals 400 pounds. I spent 400 pounds on Polaroids. That is absolutely mental. That that really when I worked that out, that really took me back because um, I knew they're expensive, but I didn't know they're that expensive. But no, from my my perspective, you can't really put a price tag on it. You're taking a picture of something that has only happened in that moment, and it's that one split second in that day that you've taken the picture. Uh, so they're they're one of one. You can't replace them. They're they are literally what you took in that moment. I think that's super special and something really cool to to mark every project you do. So after I've taken the Polaroid, I let it develop for 15 minutes in the darkest place possible. I normally just put a little zipper in my bag. And once it developed or once I get home, I will open up the Polaroid app and use the scanner and literally just hold it in front of the camera, let it scan the photo, and then I'll upload it to Instagram highlights. So if you actually do want to find all the Polaroids I have taken in my professional career, there is one from the year 2021, 2022, and now currently doing 2023. It has every Polaroid I've taken, so it kind of splits up all of these behind me. And then after I've done that, I will uh, just get these little glue dots out that I got off Amazon, and I'll put three at the bottom and then one at the top, and that seems to be the sweet spot for them to actually stick on the wall. I am slowly running out of room, as you can see. Uh, there's not a lot of space left, but hopefully in the future when I get my own studio or just a bigger room, I'll have this massive wall of Polaroids and it'll kind of show my whole professional journey and every project that I've ever done, which I think is really cool. And I don't think many people can can say they have that. So I think it's super special and I'm, I'm so glad I started doing them because I think I'd really regret it now. I, I strongly recommend doing something like this, whether it be for your job, like filmmaking, or as some tokens for your day-to-day -day life. I think it's great to have a physical copy of like a moment in your life, because there's only like one and one of one of them, like they, they can't be replicated. It's that split moment in time printed out in seconds. I generally think they're invaluable and I don't think I'll ever stop doing them because even just looking at now over the past three years, looking at all the projects I've done, like money can't really buy that. And I, it definitely helps in the moments where you feel like you're in this spiral of comparing yourself to other people or you just don't feel like you're doing enough and you kind of turn your shoulder and you look at all the projects you've done, all the people you've met and all the cool companies you've worked with, it, it kind of takes you straight out of that and kind of makes you appreciate how far you've come. And it is a nice feeling. I'm so glad I do it and I have done it for the last three years where work and the people I've met has really ramped up. Because I think I'd be, I, I, feel, I would have felt like I would have missed out on a couple of years if I started now. It kind of just reassures me that I am doing okay and I need to stop stressing. But that is all from me. Hopefully you've learned a thing or two about why I take Polaroids and why you should too and I will see you soon.